Carpal Tunnel Syndrome Can the patient self-diagnose Carpal Tunnel Syndrome? Carpal Tunnel Syndrome is the most common type of nerve compression. It may affect from 1 to 10% of the population in some studies. Repetitive motion, vibrations, certain athletic activities, and certain conditions can predispose to Carpal Tunnel Syndrome. The most common associated conditions of Carpal Tunnel Syndrome are diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, pregnancy, hypothyroidism, and advanced age. Carpal Tunnel Syndrome is a clinical diagnosis. In patients who have clinical diagnosis of Carpal Tunnel Syndrome based on the history and the physical exam, the electrodiagnostic tests did not change the probability of diagnosing this condition. So the question is, can the patient self-diagnose Carpal Tunnel Syndrome? These are the most common clinical presentations for Carpal Tunnel Syndrome. Symptoms in the distribution of the median nerve pain and burning sensation, numbness and tingling in the thumb, index, and middle finger. The small finger should not be affected. Patients should not have any symptoms in the small finger. Any symptoms in the small finger are not associated with carpal tunnel syndrome. The little finger sensation is part of the unknown nerve distribution. The unknown nerve involvement is not a carpal tunnel syndrome. The self-administered hand diagram is extremely helpful and it is one of the most specific tests for carpal tunnel syndrome. The patient should highlight the areas where they are experiencing the symptoms. Another clinical presentation is night symptoms. Night symptoms is considered to be a good prognosis for effectiveness of treatment. The patient will experience numbness, pain, parathesia that's more prominent while the patient is asleep. This will wake the patient from sleep and the patient will shake the hand to try to get relief of the symptoms. Another clinical presentation is thinner atrophy. The patient may experience weakness or clumsiness or thinner atrophy. When you see thinner atrophy, it means it is a long-standing problem. Don't let this muscle go to waste. Try to compare the affected hand to the other hand, which is not affected, or compare it to the hand of a friend or a relative. Check the difference. Failing test. Failing test is performed by flexing the wrist for 60 seconds. This will increase the carpal tunnel pressure temporarily and it will produce the symptoms. If the test is positive, the patient will have numbness and tingling in the hand and wrist. Tunnel sign. Positive tunnel sign means irritation of the nerve. It is a common provocative test for the nerves and when it is positive, it means irritation of the nerve. Light tapping over the nerve at the carpal tunnel will cause radiating parathesia distally into the median nerve innervated digits and this means the test is positive for carpal tunnel syndrome. Positive compression test, Durkin's test, this is the most sensitive test. The examiner places even pressure with two thumbs directly over the patient median nerve in the carpal tunnel for about 30 seconds. Reproduction of symptoms such as pain, parathesia, and numbness in the distribution of the median nerve distal to the carpal tunnel means the test is positive for carpal tunnel syndrome.
If the patient have at least three of these six clinical findings, then the probability of carpal tunnel syndrome is high. Although the patient can probably self-diagnose carpal tunnel syndrome, it is critical for the patient to see their doctor to get a formal, accurate diagnosis and to begin the treatment. Also, you see a doctor because other conditions may mimic carpal tunnel syndrome. The patient may have double crush syndrome. For example, a patient with carpal tunnel syndrome may also have a second problem elsewhere in the course of the median nerve. Symptoms of cervical disc herniation can also mimic carpal tunnel syndrome. A C5, C6 is the most common level that's affected in the neck. The affected area in sensation is almost the same like carpal tunnel syndrome. However, the clinical examination by the doctor will show a herniated disc rather than a carpal tunnel syndrome. Also, proximal median nerve entrapment, such as pronator teres syndrome, may mimic carpal tunnel syndrome. In case of pronator teres syndrome, the palmar cutaneous branch of the median nerve is also involved. This nerve supplies sensation to the thinner eminence. In carpal tunnel syndrome, the patient does not lose the sensation on the radial aspect of the palm. However, the patient with pronator teres will lose the sensation on the radial aspect of the palm. Martin Gruber anastomosis is immediate to under nerve communication in the proximal forearm. The patient may present with atypical exam findings.